thanks for joining me. I'm just, uh, you must be buzzing after being selected for your first Six Nations. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's uh, going to be a great occasion and uh, just I'm really excited now going into this weekend. Hopefully it should be a good one. It's, it brings its own pressure. I'm sure you grew up watching Six Nations matches and uh, certainly there's huge excitement around, about the first game. How do you see that going on Saturdays? It's, uh, as I said, there's huge pressure there. Um, big baptism of fire, but uh, you've had a meteoric rise in the last 12 months. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be an unbelievable game. We have aspirations to win the trophy come the end of the season and or the end of the Six Nations. And um, we, uh, we can only do that by going out and winning this weekend. And it's going to be vital uh, for the rest of the tournament. And uh, yeah, personally, it's, it's been great to, to have gotten the nod now this weekend. And uh, there's a lot of great players who didn't. So um, it's, uh, I'm just extremely proud. And hopefully we go out now and do the jersey proud this weekend. Is it easy for yourself on a, on a lighter note, I suppose, to keep your feet in the ground the way things have gone in the last kind of 12 months, scoring lots of tries, uh, being picked for Ireland, going on tour to New Zealand, your first cap there? It's been an unbelievable uh, scenario for you. Is it easy to keep your feet in the ground? Yeah, uh, yeah, do you know. Or do, or do the boys uh, <laughs> bring you down a peg or two? They do, yeah, whenever that's needed, do you know. Uh, I uh, know it's 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 been great. It's just um, it's been great to be a part of all of this. And um, uh, you could, Connor Murray had similar rise last uh, last season when uh, it kind of seemed like he shot out of the blue as well. But um, yeah, he's uh, there's a lot of young players coming through the squad, and if people like Craig Gilroy now and all these guys coming up as well, and uh, we can drive each other on to hopefully do something great in this tournament. And do you find there's going to be pressure on you now to perform that you have delivered for Munster and you have um, you had a really good November series and particularly the Argentinian game? Do you feel there's pressure on you now to deliver in an Ireland short? Um, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. There's always going to be a pressure to perform because um, there's such tradition and for the players who've worn the Irish jersey before, you're always going to feel that pressure to perform. And um, personally, I put a lot of pressure on myself as do the other players to go out and perform because you're you're only going to let your friends down if you don't. So um, we'll always be going out now to uh, perform to the best of our abilities and hopefully get a win in the millennium. And hopefully we'll see you scoring a few tries there. But I just can't figure out what all this showboating is about <laughs> after you score tries. It certainly wouldn't happen if I was on the field with you. I'd say it wouldn't, yeah, because you wouldn't be scoring any tries. What? Do, what <laughs> yeah, but your showboating wouldn't yeah. happen. What's the story with it? Ah well, you know, I'm enjoying my rugby and I'm enjoying celebrating when I score tries and uh, it's great to celebrate with the teammates I have around me, so hopefully we can do some of that now this Saturday. Okay, good luck. Thanks Simon. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, good evening.